Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am very, very excited. Reason being that right next to my Adobe XD and Figma icons, I have this very special icon and this is called Envision Studio. This is easily the best animation that I've seen on a UI animation software. That is how it's supposed to be guys. Now, if you want me to make more Envision tutorials, all you guys need to do is go down in the comments and type in this one line which says, we love Envision Studio. That's all. You need to write that. And if I get more than 100 comments, I'll make more and more Envision Studio tutorials. Now I've set up a very simple yet good looking UI right here. This is basically a article here. If I click on this, it should expand, right? Now it's very simple. Just like in Adobe XD, I click on the image that I want the user to click. I click on this and I get these options on the right. Again, very similar to all the other software. On the right, I have this really cool feature called interactions. I'll click on the plus icon right next to interactions. And under this, I have various interaction triggers. So I'll just click on tap for now. And transition is preset. So in this case, it will just be a basic animation like you see. The fun stuff begins when I click on motion. What it does is basically allows you to move from one artboard to the other with motion. So in this case, artboard six is the one we want to set. So in this case, I'll choose artboard six, as simple as that. And I can change the duration. I like that there's a little slider here for duration. That's that's very handy. Now the place where it kind of beats After Effects is that it's this simple, but you can even edit a timeline. So if I click on edit timeline right here, it brings up, it brings up a timeline feature right here, very similar to what you will see in After Effects. I can individually edit each and every uh, element right here. If I click on this little image on top right here, it will basically select this image, which is card one. And you know, I can maybe make it faster. So I'll just cut it down by just dragging it out till the middle, right? Like that. And of course I can even change the easing option. So if I click on this easing option right next to it, you can basically change the Bezier curve. This is an advanced motion animation technique, but you can basically change it from ease both to all these different elastic linear pop bounce. That is cool. But you can even give it a custom easing animation. As you can see, you can drag these out to create a custom easing. Now, if I click on this, see how it will swiftly animate the card and everything else will be slightly slower. Look at this. The great part about Envision Studio is that you can quickly scan a QR code right here by clicking on this mobile and it will be able to play on your mobile device. And also, if you want to export it, to Envision, you can publish directly to Envision with all the prototyping and everything intact. 